There are many critical pillars of a, a functioning and vibrant democracy, and one of those pillars is free speech. That's why our university and college campuses in particular must continue to serve as bastions of free speech to help promote critical thinking and debate amongst the next generation. In 2019, I required all post-secondary institutions to adopt free speech policies and, and protect freedom of speech on campuses. But today, free speech that we treasure so much is under attack by the Trudeau government and more specifically by Bill C-11. This bill, if passed, and I know it's just past third reading, would allow the Trudeau government to determine what you can and cannot watch. It gives them the power to regulate user-generated content, essentially controlling what you see on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Content creators would be at the very mercy of the Trudeau government because, quite frankly, if the government doesn't like what they're seeing, they can just remove the videos. No other democratic nation regulates user-generated content, but this isn't a coincidence. I don't know about you, but I don't need a Trudeau bureaucrat choosing what appears on my feed, nor do we need the Liberal government kneecapping great Canadian content creators. And these creators as well have been voicing concern and sounding the alarm just like so many of you have over this dangerous bill. Conservatives will always defend freedom of speech. I know our MPs in Ottawa are doing the same and I saw the other day as well, Conservative leadership candidate Pierre Poliver has vowed to uphold freedom of speech on campuses. The culture that is being fostered by the Trudeau, uh, Trudeau government sets a very dangerous precedent and we must all be concerned. Essentially, it's one where you can silence any, any and all voices that disagree with you. This is not what Canada is about. This is not the freedoms and liberties we enjoy in our society. We must uh, never sacrifice our hard-fought freedoms. And please rest assured that I will always fight to uphold freedom of speech in Alberta.